Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel. See the soul, the truth lies within, and we're going to talk about the fourth day of a godly blessing, where God is telling us about the four subjects that we learn at Brahma Kumaris. Yes, we have subjects, and they are passing out marks also, and the marks are given by Supreme God Father Himself. Whenever we souls leave our body, that's the time we get our marks. How pure we had become, and how much of lust, anger, greed, ego attachment in percentage was left within our thoughts and in our actions. That will decide whether we'll go into liberation and whether we'll enter into the gates of heaven or not. So, that is the definition of purity. God says in this blessing, "May you be a world benefactor, who becomes an embodiment of all four subjects." So, once we study all the four subjects, then we can become world benefactors. All four subjects of this study are connected with one another. So, what are the four subjects? Let's explore that. First is knowledge, that is divine knowledge about the self, about the past births of the self, what is going to happen in the future, how much time is left in the future, when Kali Yuga is going to come to an end. That is what we explore in Brahma Kumaris, and then we meditate on it. That is yoga, that is knowledge, Raj Yoga meditation. Then we imbibe divine qualities, divine virtues, so that we. abolish all negative evil traits within us and become purer and then on the basis of that imbibing we then serve the souls with those qualities and knowledge so those are the four subjects knowledge first second is raj yoga meditation third is imbibing virtues and fourth is serving other souls so all four subjects of this study are connected with one another the souls who are knowledgeable will definitely be yogi souls so if you have knowledge then you'll understand how to connect to god and how to meditate on god so you'll become a yogi and the actions of those who have made knowledge and yoga their na- nature will be natural full of wisdom and elevated so they'll be divine they'll be full of wisdom they'll know what to do what not to do in any situation so that they don't end up doing any sinful acts and they'll be saved they will be embodiments of dharna in their natures and sanskar they will imbibe the royal and the virtuous behaviors just like supreme god father because those who have the virtues and behaviors like god are the closest to god they are godly beings those who have the treasure of experiencing these three subjects will be master bestowers they'll be able to then bestow the knowledge to others because they'll just not be talking knowledge but they'll be acting in that divine knowledge that is they will automatically become servers they won't have to speak their life will be serving others those who claim number 1 in all these four subjects are called world benefactors now what are those four subjects which we learn in brahma kumaris this is a spiritual organization a spiritual university there are four subjects there is no fee for entrance over here but yes there are certain rules which we follow for our own benefit so that we come closer to supreme god being or the supreme god father or the supreme creator so you too can go and learn this knowledge at the closest center near to you of pramakumaris godly spiritual university with this om shanti